What is down, everybody? Is your main course little pancake? Welcome back to another trying things video. Today, we're trying things as per usual on trying things. Today, I've got two things to try. Once again, I have let's see here, uh, Snickers peanut brownie right there, and then also Hidden Valley Ranch bugles. Hmm? I've got some not not high hopes, but I think. I think both of these will be good, which is probably not good for me to go in with expectations because they're usually not met. I mean, I'm going to go against my motto of having low expectations so you don't get disappointed, and I'm going to have medium-sized expectations. This will also, I think, be a good combo because I've got, you know, the sweet and savory, and then I've got, like, the little saltiness crunchy, you know what I mean? I think it's actually, like, a, like a, a pretty cool combo going here. I think I'm going to start with the peanut brownie Snickers. It's not like a Snickers bar shape. Let me pull it open here. It's like four little nuggets. So it's four of these little squares. It smells like chocolate. There's not much to go with there. Peanuts, milk chocolate, caramel, and brownie. There isn't nougat, I don't think. Like, you know, the Snickers bar has the little nougat in it. I'm pretty sure that is replaced by the brownie and it's changed shape. So let's, before I bite into it, let's crack it open and take a look at the inside. Oh, okay. I don't see any peanuts in there, but maybe they're like, maybe they're hiding. It's a little cross section. Let's, let's go for it. I did get a peanut. Mm -hmm. You can see the peanut right there. It's not bad. It's a Snickers bar, but with less peanuts, and the nougat is replaced with like a fudge brownie type thing. That's pretty good. It's different. Very chocolatey. Very rich chocolate flavor. Like it's a, it's a very pungent type of chocolate. Very, very creamy. Very, very rich. Like I said, with caramel, caramel, whatever you want to call it. I say it differently every time because I don't want to. I actually don't know why I say it differently every time. It's just how my brain works. The caramel is really good. It's the same kind of caramel that's in a regular Snickers bar. So it's it's high quality. It tastes good. It goes with the peanuts and the milk chocolate very well. It, it's not as good as a regular Snickers bar, of course. I'm a, I'm a big fan of a Snickers bar. It's solid. It's, like I said, it's not great. It's not bad. It's decent. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. You know, it's something different candy bar wise. The, the brownie is a lot like, say, like a cosmic brownie type thing. It's a little... It's not quite as dry as a cosmic brownie. That's kind of it's a little bit a little bit more fudgy. That's kind of the flavor of it. I think I'm gonna give this like a 78. Like it's pretty good. It's, it's it wouldn't be like my go-to, of course, for something different. You know, if I've if I've had a Snickers bar, you know, I don't really want a Twix or something like that. It's it's pretty good chocolatey snack, I'd say. It was very rich. I needed a sip of H2O. Did you hear, uh, um, I was gonna tell a joke, hold on, I gotta, hold on, I gotta remember what, how the joke goes. Two scientists walk into a, a bar, one says, I'll have some H2O, the second scientist says, I'll have some H2O too, the second scientist dies. That's a science joke. His H2O2 is poisonous. Anyway, moving on to the Hidden Valley Ranch Bugles. Now, I'm a fan of a bugle. Bugles are very salty, very, um, pretty much just salt is like the main flavor profile of a bugle. You can put them on your fingers and be a witch, so that's pretty cool. I'm a, I'm a big Bugle fan. I'm also a ranch fan. I feel like a lot of people think, see ranch very polarizing. You either love ranch or you hate it. I'm very much in the middle. Like, I like ranch. I don't put ranch on everything. Like, ranch is basically a salad I put ranch on. Like, like something like lettuce, you know what I mean? Like, I don't really like ranch on pizza. I definitely don't like that. I don't, I don't get that one. I don't put ranch on everything. I do like ranch sunflower seeds. Those are very good. Oh man, I really just busted that open, didn't I? Okay, I opened it. Okay, they smell like bugles. Not a very strong ranch smell. 
not, not really much ranch smell at all. You can see the ranch coating on it. You can see the little like, like little specks on it. That's the little that's ranch, I guess. Smelling the individual, you can smell the ranch. All right, let's see, let's see. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. It is a fairly subtle ranch. What I was kind of worried about was that they would kind of still throw the salt on it and then put ranch seasoning over top of, like, the original bugle. They didn't do that. The salt is not as prominent as a regular bugle. Oh, God. I think my fingers may be bigger than when I was a small child. These openings seem a lot smaller. Because the um, the ranch flavor's subtle, you know, it's like, it's down here, you know, it's up there. It's, it's good. I don't know if, I think I prefer regular bugles, which I don't love regular bugles, to be honest. I would like more ranch flavor. Like, if you've ever had the ranch sunflower seeds, you know what I mean? By, like, those are heavy on the ranch, but it's really good. I think if they went heavier on the ranch, it would bump it up. Here, all right, I'm gonna give you a diagram. So like, I would say that the sunflower seeds are like right here. Like right here is like too much. The sunflower seeds are like right here. Right here's too much. The bugles are like right here. Like too much sunflower seeds, bugles. If you take the bugles like right here, sunflower seeds, bugles too much. These bugles would be really good. Did that? Yeah, that was a good diagram. You know, you know, you know exactly what I mean now. I think this one's probably gonna be in the 70s as well. I think 73, but these aren't bad at all. You know, it's a little different. It's something a little, it's a crunchy, crispy flavor you know if you're like a really big fan of ranch honestly you probably would be disappointed with these bugles because they're not as ranch forward as you would probably hope but you know if you're looking for something a little different these are pretty solid all right i am also right after i finish recording this i'm gonna go through and i'm gonna add everything to the trying things list that i haven't yet and the updated list is right here boom look at it isn't it beautiful? Thank you so much for watching. Smash like, subscribe. Let me know if you've had any of this, if you like any of this, if you don't like any of this. And go try it if you want. Thank you. Have an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. And I will see all y'all later. Make someone else's day better. Make someone else's day better. Almost forgot to say that. See ya.